Welcome to Live Darts. We're here at the Labrox UK Open and we've got Kim Highbrex with us. Kim, congratulations on a great victory in round number four. Sum up how are you feeling right now? I uh, played, played really well, I think. Um, was it a difficult game, Peter Hudson? It's never an easy draw, but I think there's no easy draw up here. 10-3, um, so quite comfortable victory. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Was it a definite advantage, only having played this evening, not having to play through the day? Was that a good thing for yourself? Um, yes and no. Um, when you play players that already had some games, then, well, they've got the momentum, they've got that good feeling, and, and it's your first round. Nobody likes to play the first round. So, um, it, it is difficult, but you have that advantage um, that you're already a seeded player, and, and, you know, you have to perform straight away. Also, would you prefer to play on the stage, or are you happy on those outer boards where it's a no, little bit quieter? I'm, I'm quite happy on them. On them, um, well, board three two. What is it? Eight. Uh, three to eight. Yeah. Yeah, three to eight. Yeah, it, it, the, the the crowd is really close to you, so that's quite good. And if you're on on the main stage and it's not really full, then you don't get that feeling. So um, I really like it. Also, as well, you didn't know who you were going to play or when you were going to play until. Really late. Yeah. Is, that is that difficult to prepare that for is, a normal tournament? That is the hardest part because um, it starts at seven, and you know the the the, the, the third round is going to finish around four thirty, so the draw is going to be done around five. So um, I'm I'm one of them players that needs about three to four hours to practice and then to get ready. So I'm counting on the game that starts at seven o'clock. But if you're not and if you're last, then you're here for six to seven hours. So you have to see what you do and, and don't over practice. So that is really hard, yeah. So for the start of 2019, it's been, a, it's been a good start to the year for yourself. You've gone well in some of the Pro Tours. I know you've not won them, but from where you were this time last year to where you are now, it must be, must be great for yourself knowing that you're back on the climb again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've had a huge drop. Uh, I've, been, I've been really down in um, 2018. Um, personal reasons, obviously. Um, but this is a new start for me. and. I've, which is not good. I have to start from zero again because I've dropped down so far in the rankings um, that I have to start from zero again. But um, maybe that's a good thing. Um, the, the, the pressure is a lot less now and, and I can play my own games. I so say you touched on there, the pressure isn't there because where you're not defending anything, these are almost a free ride for yourself. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, you want to look yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Um, it's it's not a free ride because um, you've got so many good players on the pro tour. They all think they're Michael van Gerwen these days, but um, I think they're better than him. <laughs> you know they know. So let's come on. <laughs> No, again, Kim, congratulations on a fantastic result. Are you going to hang around and watch the draw, or are you going to wait for Mac to tell you who you've got later on? <laughs> um, I'm, I might, might watch some more games, but I'm not going to um, hang around for the draw because that makes me more nervous than the games itself. So uh, I don't lo like watching the draw. Kim, congratulations on a great result, and it's great to see you play one again. Thank you Thank very you. much. Cheers, Rob. Thank you. Thank you very much.